Well, I've got all your energy bills here, Monica. It looks like you're spending around $800 every year. So that means you're producing about eight tonnes of greenhouse gases. So what's the answer? Green power. Most energy companies in Australia offer accredited green power. When you switch to green power, your energy comes from renewable sources like solar and wind. It can cost as little as $1 extra a week. It's available just about anywhere, so simply call your energy provider and ask for green power. The Australian Conservation Foundation has reviewed the schemes offered by various companies. You can find their report card by logging on to the new website coolTheGlobe.com. Heating water accounts for one third of the energy used in the home. This system here is a gas hot water system which is fantastic because it produces less greenhouse gas emissions. Most Australians have electric hot water systems which guzzle energy all day and all night. So when you need to replace your hot water system, look at getting a solar one, which is by far the best. That means free energy from the sun, and you can benefit from rebates available across Australia. Here's another great tip. Putting insulation around the pipes can save you loads of energy and cut your bill by up to $70 a year. And don't just stop there. Putting insulation in your walls and roof can save up to 60% of the energy needed to cool and heat the home. It's starting to warm up in parts of the country at the moment. That means that air conditioners will start draining a lot of energy. By increasing the temperature by just one degree, you'll be saving around 10% of the energy used. Avoid using the air conditioner when you can. The best option is to shade west-facing windows to stop the heat getting in and to use a ceiling fan. When the air conditioner is on, make sure you close all the doors and windows to keep the cool air in. And pergolas are great for shade. Adding a vine here will give you extra protection in summer and in winter when the leaves fall off, it'll let the sun in. Sophie also gives the clothesline a big tick. It allows you to dry your clothes for free. A clothes dryer creates three kilograms of greenhouse gas each time, enough to fill three balloons full of gas. So save it for rainy days. With the fridge, is there anything we can do? Definitely. Fridges are big energy users. So when you're buying a new one, look out for the energy rating labels. The more stars, the more energy efficient the fridge is going to be. But in the meantime, you can check out the settings. It doesn't need to be on the colder setting. You can turn it up a notch. The temperature should be set at four to five degrees and in the freezer, minus 15 to minus 18. About one in three Australians own a second fridge running all the time just to keep a few beers cold. Turning off that second fridge will save energy and over $100 a year from your bill. And do you really need your appliances on 24 hours a day? Standby power on things like TV still drains power. Turning them off at the point will save you around $100 a year. It all adds up. So let's go over this week's tips again. Switch to green power. Insulate your hot water system and your house. Buy energy efficient appliances. Raise the thermostat on your air conditioner. And turn off your standby power.